every time I cover this hole up, we get another signal. There's another coin in here, right on that edge. Right about there. Morning folks, look, we're detecting and we're in the woods. Not done either for ages, the last time I was in the woods was four or five months ago. So that's what we're doing today, we're going to do some metal detecting. I really don't care what I dig up, I just want to dig something. I just want to dig holes. Yeah, promising. Right, I'll come back with the first signal, let's go. Right, I've got no issue digging up iron today, but I would like to know what it is. In God's name is this giant thing. It's a chain that's all, uh... yeah, I think that's a chain. Wow, that weighs a ton. Right, folks, look at this. Wait, I've lost it. There, look at that. That is something decorative. It was right under this tree. Was I filming it? No, of course I wasn't. That looks like something. I can see a leaf there. Oh, I can't. I can't see anything because of the sunshine. Look, what's that? That looks like a thistle. That is a thistle. Oh, beautiful. Right, hold on, I'll clean this up. Right, it's it's incredibly delicate. Definitely a thistle. Don't know what it's made of. All sorts of weird colours on it. A brass kind of colour. There's purple, greeny corrosion. Very nice. I'm glad I found that. found this, a little bullet. Take that over a shotgun shell any day. Oh, nearly had a heart attack there, look at this. I thought I'd found a dead body wrapped up in the woods. <sighs> That's what it looks like. Why? Why? the folk do that? A stud, metal stud or something? I don't understand that. To me it's more hassle dragging this through the woods than it is just going to the dump. Unbelievable. Look, loads of bluebells and a big holly bush. I think that's supposed to indicate a, a, quite an old woodland, I believe. don't know if that's right. Holly and bluebells. Haven't found anything ancient yet anyway. Found something a little bit interesting. I think it's a button. An old button that's rusted away on the front. It's not a shotgun end which I thought at first it is. Look, it's a button. There's the holes. And another one. Right next to it. So probably somebody's thrown away a piece of modern clothing and that's all that's left and we've got a third one right I don't want to dig up any more of these it's got a nice colour to it but I don't think they're very old we have a coin folks get out the way look wait get off me <laughs> we've got a coin oh yes First coin I've dug up in weeks. What is it? That looks like a good one. That looks interesting, quite thick. Is it a half crown? Nope, it's a penny. I'll clean it up. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Yep, it's a George the Fifth penny. But I can't, I can't, the date's gone. Yeah, no date, but George V. We have another coin, folks. I'm sorry I wasn't filming it again. Look, quite close to that tree. 
Looks like another. Oh, oh I scuffed it. I thought we had gold there, for God's sake. I thought that was a gold. A gold coin. It's a penny, I think. Yeah. Oh, that side's quite nice. That's one of the Georgias. Nice. Give me two seconds. I'll give it a quick clean. Always have to check under these trees. It is a 1911 George V penny. You see that at the bottom there, 1911. Two coins. And I'll check the hole just in case for a wee pocket spill. Just found that. A little lead. A dress weight, hem weight, maybe a button. Whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I've ever found one of them in the woods. I always find them in pastures. So that's interesting. See the two holes there, clogged with mud. Yeah, that's unusual for the woods. Right, might be able to get a coin for you live. Or live-ish, I think. You can see the green there. Don't know if it is a coin yet. Definitely looks like a nice green one though. Right, hold on. This is going to be tricky without busting it. Hold on. It's still there. It definitely looks like a coin. Come on. Ah. Yes. Yes, it is. But it's wrecked. <laughs> this looks good. Oh man, look at that side. It's quite thick, right? I'll try and get some of this off. I think it's a penny. Right, not much we can do with that, but I think just the size. I think it's Georgian. I think it's a George III. It might have been in a fire. But that's what I think. I don't think it's Victorian. I think that's George III. Half penny. We've got another coin. Another coin that I was not filming, I'm afraid. It's a small one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think we've got silver. Or is that just the way I've scratched it? Looks like one of the Georges there. I think that's one of the sixpences that's half silver. Oh. Right, two minutes, I'm going to clean that up. Yep, that's what that is. It's a half silver coin. Hey! Yes, folks, it is a 1933 sixpence. 1933 or 1935, maybe? 33, I think. So it's a little bit silver. Look. That little bit there, that's the silver. George V. Okay, a nice signal here. So, I'll try and get a coin out live. I thought I saw a coin there. I did. There it is. Yes! Fairly alive. Another coin. Oh, it's wrecked. That's going to be a half penny. A lot of coins in this little spot here. Right, I think I can make out a ship there. Ship's half penny. There's the mast, the sails. 
but no date, not even a monarch, don't know who that is. But it's a coin. Focus, pal. There you go. We have a pocket spill. Look, just dug that ship's half penny. We've got another coin in here. <coughs> there it is. Missed it the first time. Right, I'll clean it up. Looks the same deal. Same half penny. Maybe we'll get a date on it. Pretty much the same. Not much on it. There's somebody there. Other side, nothing. So a little pocket spill. Somebody's sat right there. Probably shooting rabbits or something in there. And that's came out their pocket. And a third one. Hold on, I'll pause it just while I get a hole dug again. I should be able to just lift this out actually. I think I'll have to dig a bit, I think it was... Yeah, it's, it's under here. So, two minutes, I'll pause it a sec. I think it's silver, I think it's silver, look. Either that or I've really scuffed it. It is. It's a silver. Oh. That looks like a full silver. What is it? There we go. Another George V, is it? Oh, my phone. Right. Maybe not full silver, but... Oh, beautiful. Sixpence, it's a little bit polished on this side. Silver in a pocket spill. Oh, this side is stunning. Look at that. Look how nice that's come up. It's in George V, it's 1914. So it is full silver. Oops, this side's well polished up. Really faded, but you can see the date luckily. Can you? <laughs> 1914. There you go. Stunning. Silver. Silver. <clears throat> Double silver today, in fact. That's two silvers we've had. That one's definitely the nicest of them. Right, every time I cover this hole up. We get another signal. There's another coin in here, right on that edge. Right about there. Imagine this was silver again. That'd be the first time I've ever had double silver in the same hole, I think. Oh, Jesus! It's a bulb. I thought it was a silver coin. Right, where is it? It's just down here somewhere. There it is. Oh. Oh, it's a big fat three pence, I think. A threepence. We're getting everything. If that's what it is. Okay, I'll clean it up. There we go. 1945 threepence. 1945 at the bottom. Right, four coins. I'll give it a quick swing over. Live, just in case. Eesh. Focus. Detectors having a hard time with that. 
Not sure. I'm going to dig a big hole there and just see if there's something in there. It's very faint. I'll let you know if it's anything good. Yes, coin number five. And it was giving a really faint signal, so I'll be interested to see. It's not that deep. There it is. No. Oh, what are the chances? <laughs> it's a shotgun end to finish. You could not make that up. Four coins and then just to complete it, a, sh a shotgun end in the hole. Right, maybe let's... Maybe it was... Maybe that's his. I'm doing a bit of shooting. Lost all his money. Hey, good way to finish that. Another button. That one's older. It's got the shank intact on the back. The front is blank. I think we've got another nice lead bullet here. Another quite a big one. Been a while since I found one that size. No rings on it, I don't think. Nah, no rings on it. Yep, a nice lead bullet, number two. Hey, look, a surface find. And it looks to be a musket ball, a pistol ball, something like that. I've never ever found one on the surface in the woods, obviously. Because they were fired a century ago, so two centuries ago, so how come that's sitting right there? Definitely what that is. Wow, weird. We are done. I'm happy with that. There's all the rubbish we had to dig up. Jesus, mate. That is a 30. He was doing about 70. Moron. Uh, 16 shotgun ends. Yeah, there's all the rubbish. I enjoyed that double silver. I'll see you next time, folks. Cheers.